Rick, thanks for coming back and doing another video. I think this is like your seventh or eighth one. Yeah, happy to help out. Well, we appreciate it a lot. Um, but I did get a comment posted about you on our uh, video. I thought I'd read it to you. Great. You haven't seen it? It says, hey, Best Stop, we love your videos. Thank you very much. But you used to have a really cute chick in them, and now it's a weird looking guy with bad hair and funky glasses. Sounds to me like they finally noticed you were in the videos too, Jeff. You think they're talking about me? Well, they're not talking about me with the funny hairdo. Huh. Well, I guess that's possible. Today, we're gonna do bikini tops. Great, I think we should go inside. It's freezing out here. It's really freezing, it's snowing. When we planned this video a couple weeks ago, it was 76 degrees, but uh, we'll still do it. So Rick, Best Stop invented the bikini. Sure seems that way. And that's why we have to put a little circle R. We actually registered that word. So all the bikinis that you can buy for a Jeep, the real bikinis, they're Best Top. And to me, you really can't own a Jeep without having a bikini top. Absolutely not. It really helps to just give you the whole experience of owning a Jeep. And there's so many options for these. Uh, not just color, not just fabric, but we also make them for JKs, two four doors. We make them for the older TJs, all the way back to the very first CJs. Mm -hmm. We make them for Broncos and Scouts and Samurais. So there's a lot of bikini options. Absolutely. We're gonna talk briefly in this video about the JK ones mm -hmm. and the TJ one. So in addition to what kind of header you're going to have to put the bikini on, you need to understand what kind of door surrounds you have on your Jeep. The door surrounds, that's one of the big reasons for the complication with the JK line of bikini tops is because of the door surround situation. That's right. We make bikinis that'll fit on Jeeps without door surrounds at all. And because there are several different versions of door surrounds for the Jeep that come from the factory as well as the best top branded ones, it's important to know which ones you have if you want to use them for your bikini. I knew you were going to talk about door surround, so I grabbed a couple for show and tell. Great. That one, let's see if I get this right. This is a factory door surround mm -hmm. that came after 2008. Uh, 2010 and up has the flange here for the cable side and the 2007 to 2009 has a channel that you can clip into to secure something above the door. Got it. So the first JKs came out with this one, and so on the bikinis for this year, mm -hmm. they have the little rubber or plastic canard that tucks underneath this. That's right. There's a plastic retainer that'll tuck into this channel to keep it tight side to side. Right. So when the soft top switched to the cable operated ones, it has the spring and the cable, so it makes it a lot easier to open and shut them. Mm -hmm. It's a nice addition, mm -hmm. but it complicated the bikini line. Yeah, it gave a whole new option for which style of door surround you might have. But I got one more complication, which is that if you bought a Trek Top NX or a Super Top NX from Best Top, it doesn't matter what year your Jeep is, you will have the cable style door surrounds. That's right. The Best Top brand version of those door surrounds for the Super Top and the Trek Top come with their own, and it's very similar to the it's cable. It's close to this, is the factory one, but it would be close to this style. That's right. So, I need to match the door surrounds to the bikini top. To the bikini top and consider what kind of header you're gonna put on the vehicle. Got it. So this one first. Okay. This is sort of the standard JK header, right? That's right, this is gonna be the header that you use for anything that does not require a cable. So if I have any Jeep that does not have the cable top, mm -hmm. I would get this one. This would be the one that you want to get, yeah. Something that's going to either clip into the door surround, like the early model JKs, or one of our designs that are intended to be attached straight to the roll bar. Okay. And the fabric from the bikini is going to attach to this. That's right. This will mount directly to the top of the windshield where it's clamped down to hold it in place, and the fabric will snap to it along the uh, edge of the header. This isn't really clamped down, it's more well, there's a, a bracket and a knob that you use to tighten it into place. Got it. So this one requires a little bit of assembly on the windshield header first. That's right. After you get it, there's a couple brackets that you'll have to put on here in order to assemble that. All right. So once you've got that assembled, you just snap the fabric onto that. That's right. You'll put the fabric around the edge, you snap it in place, and then clamp it down using the knobs and the brackets that are in the kit. Okay. So that's fairly straightforward. But what if I do have the cable one? 
If you have the cable version, you're going to want to order the header bikini that includes all the hardware required to put that one on. So this is that. This is, this is actually my header bikini mm -hmm. for 2010 to current JKs. That's right. Excellent. Let's do this one. Okay. So this one, more or less the same header, but it comes installed. That's right. This one, all the pre assembly is done for you. It's kind of my style of installation right there. Makes it real easy. So what's the difference between this and the one we just talked about? This is the version that comes with the cable and the side pockets. It's intended to work with all the door surrounds that are for cable style soft tops. So this one has a cable and a spring mm -hmm. and will work with any door surrounds that come up on the factory Jeep after 2009. It's 2010 and up. 2010 and up, thank and you. any best top branded door surround. And any best top one that comes with the super top NX or the track top NX. That's correct. Okay, so this is the only one that comes with the header installed. That's right. So let's go ahead and install this. Great, the easiest way to do that is to take all the fabric and then from one side to the other, just get someone to help you out. Someone. Jeff, you play the part of someone today. <laughs> and just like that, it's almost already in place. You're probably wondering how this all gets attached. There's two straps. One that's going to get attached from a screw that you take off of the sound bar here. And this is what you're going to have a tie down strap to tension the cable that's on the side of the bikini. Okay. That takes what, 10, 15 minutes if you know what you're doing? Oh yeah, this one goes on pretty quick. And then add another 15 minutes to put the header together and put that and snap the fabric onto that. Mm -hmm. So the first time you install a bikini, probably 35, 40 minutes. Oh yeah, it's gonna take a little bit more time to do the pre-assembly, but once that's done, on and off. And, no and now I can take this off very quickly. Mm -hmm. if, if Couple straps, undo the knobs and the clamps up front, and it's coming off. I like that. So this is the safari length bikini for a two-door. That's right. The bikinis will go to the middle and the safari bikinis will cover the rear seats. Cover up your back passengers, mm -hmm. keep some shade on your dog. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Uh, another option for the bikinis, we make versions with a mesh fabric that's got little holes in it so you can let the air breathe through. It's like shade cloth. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. So there's more options if you own a JK. Mm -hmm. This one is designed for people who have an 07 to 09. So no cable option whatsoever, and it works with or without door surrounds. That's right. So if I don't have the door surrounds, it doesn't fit as tightly over the door, it wraps around the sport bar. That's right, it'll wrap around the sport bar and there will be a gap between it and the door, but you still get shade over the two uh, passenger seats. That's nice, okay. So, then this one, which on the box looks almost the same, is actually designed for newer JKs, so, so 2010 and up. Mm -hmm. And this one is designed for people who do not own door surrounds. Yeah, yeah, we can do them either way. Okay. So really, if I understand this correctly at all, I need to spend a little bit of time with the catalog and make sure I've got everything matched up. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, look on the catalog, look online or call customer service and ask them for uh, some assistance. Or a good authorized dealer is going to be able to help you wade through this to make sure that the options you get are exactly right for your Jeep. Hey, now that we're all done with the JK, let's move to the TJ. We've got to make some room in the shop here. Yeah. So, Rick, I got the uh, TJ stuff here. Or yeah. just a couple options. This is a short header bikini, which is what Rick wanted on his Jeep, mm -hmm. um, because he's already got the Safari. Right. Did you remember to bring the uh, header to put this one I on? I actually did this time remember the header. Awesome. So Rick, with the TJ, this is the header bikini, so this is a windshield header. That's right. We call this the no drill style. Most people want this. 
I think this is the best option for putting a bikini on your Jeep. Right. The other option is a drill in windshield channel that mm -hmm. kind of goes on inside of the windshield. On the TJ it goes on the inside, on the YJs it goes on the top. And that is available, the, mm -hmm. the, the drilling style is available for, I don't know what you want to call them, experts maybe, people who have decided that that's the option they want? It's, it's a little bit more of the old technology, the old style of putting mm -hmm. it on, and it is a lot of cars, or a lot of Jeeps already have those, but not everybody is going to need one if they want to put one on. So Best Stop still offers that as an option, mm -hmm. but for most folks, a header bikini with this kind of windshield header is, is the way to go. Absolutely. This is much easier to install, and it doesn't require any drilling on your Jeep. Let's see if we can put this on real quick. Great. So when you put the no drill header onto the Jeep here, you want to make sure that you rotate it towards the front of the Jeep and then tighten down the screw to make sure that it gets bolted on st straight. Right. You can tell the windshield seal is different between early and late models by how far this leading edge sticks out on the front. This is newer as TJ's go. That's right, newer. So a bigger, thicker rubber seal. Yep. So we got the header on, Jeff. Do you got the bikini? I have the bikini. This one comes in a pretty big box. Yeah, this one's a little bit longer than the others because it's got the retainer that tucks into that header. All right, so nicely manageable amount of fabric on this one. Yeah, this one's uh, pretty easy to get on. It's not too big. So just like with the JK, you have this option of door surrounds or no door surrounds. That's right. This one comes So with this both. one has door surrounds, so we'll end up using this seal over on the edge. That's right. There's a retainer on the side that'll clip into the door surround for the uh, Jeeps that have them. And for those of you that want to drive without the door surrounds on, there's a nice sleeve that you can put on right to the sport bar. Got it. So we can just sort of leave this fabric out like that. Okay. Helps if you have two people. Also helps just like with a soft top if you've left this sit out in the sun for a while, which we did not do today. It's a little too cold outside for us to do that one. No yet. sun at all. Nope. So what you have to do is you have to take this plastic channel and tuck it right into the groove that's on the header. So you want to center it side to side cross car. If you've put this header on wrong, there's going to be a little gap between the rubber seal and that. And some people try and put it in there. Yeah, you don't want to go underneath. You want to go inside the uh, channel. Inside the channel. And then you t kind of fold it and tuck it around the corner into the plastic end cap, and that'll keep it securely installed. Next step, we'll just uh, pull it off to the back so that you can get the strap started in order to secure it in the channel. This is, Rick, I've, I've heard enough customer calls about this to know that this is a frustrating moment in installing a bikini top on a TJ because it pops loose while you're trying to tighten the straps. Yeah, yeah. The, the, your best option here may be a piece of tape just to kind of help it stay installed in the middle or uh, have another set of hands in the back to keep it tight when you're... And that's fishing. kind of a, like with a lot of soft tops, that's an initial install issue. It gets, once this plastic kind of softens and forms to this channel, mm -hmm. the next time you put it on, it's easier? Should be a little bit easier the next time you do it, but uh, it'll stay secure when you get the straps on. That way it doesn't come off when you're driving. Well, that's the important thing, yeah. is that it, the whole point of this, hold this down over your windshield when you're doing 80 miles an hour on the freeway. That's right. So once you got the header clamped down, you got the retainer in the channel, you got the straps all cinched down tight, you're ready to take it off road or out on the trail any way you want. So Rick, you ready to give me my jeep back or what? Hey, you're welcome to have it back, but we're just going to leave the bikini on for you today. It's all right, I brought a jacket. Yeah, you, you'll need it. It's 30 <laughs> degrees outside. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, enjoy. Have a good one. All right.